So Snow White 2024 has been going through a very tough time for multiple reasons and many various factors going into this, ranging from the leaked photographs to Rachel Zegler and Gal's comments about the movie really sparking a lot of criticism. And among that, we also have how Disney lied about those leaked photographs being fake and then reverting those statements to saying that, yeah, they're real, but they're not officially photographed by us. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into the subject surrounding the Snow White firings getting out of control by Disney. Now, one thing about Rachel Zegler, alright, a recent video resurfaced from last year. A lot of you may have seen this where she says that Snow White 2024 is a modern take for this movie. It's not 1937 anymore, she says. She doesn't need no Prince Charming, she doesn't need no true love, and she doesn't need saving, specifically. And that she is embracing becoming a leader as her father once taught her to be. That's the focus of the movie, and that has sparked also a lot of criticism based on Zegler's resurfaced comments. Now, on top of this, behind closed doors, one major development that is unraveling, that's creating quite a stir for the Snow White remake, has a lot to do with the firings that are getting pretty much, you know, out of control, that have gone past the point of no return, I believe, where at this stage, there's no way that can, they could possibly recover. Even if the writer's strike come to a close, even with reshoots, and we'll talk about that later, I still don't believe you're going to fix this movie. The only way to fix it, as Jason Acuna said, also known as Wee Man, the right thing to do is to just shut this movie down, rewrite the whole thing, reshoot the whole thing, recast, and maybe release it two years from now. That's what should be done, and if Disney really cared, that's what they would do. Anyway, with Snow White 24 going in a downward spiral after the leaked photograph surfaced, one major development surrounding the film has much to do with the firings around Snow White. Iger and the board recently finalized another phase of the firings surrounding this film, as they plan to re-edit the entire film ahead of its release date to improve the movie. Disney is planning on firing and replacing a series of editors, sound engineers, and others that are involved in the post-production process of the film. Disney also fired a series of singers that took part in the many songs of Snow White and are looking to re-record some of the already controversial subpar pieces of music in the movie if and when the strikes come to a close. Otherwise, Disney will have to stick with the songs that they already have, such as the remixed version of Hi Ho that is a mixture of folk and hip-hop. So far, they are planning on hiring new editors and mixers after firing a batch to work on the revised version of Hi Ho. These new firings come just after Disney dropped two major trailer companies that were putting together the Snow White official trailer as Disney fired them too and are seeking a brand new company up for hire to handle it differently than the other company was having a tough time dealing with Disney's demands after the leaked photos created a scare among executives. Not to mention that the entire marketing team of Snow White has been fired and restructured. Now guys, let me pause here quick before we get to the next big thing about this. Now. The thing about Snow White 2024 is that the firings didn't stop at the trailer company and the marketing team, is that now it has progressed to a series of different types of editors working on the film, sound engineers, sound mixers, um, even people that were involved in many of the themes and the songs of this movie that are now being completely redone. And a lot of that, by the way, is going to rely on the writer's strike and everything happening with SAG, because if you're going to rewrite those songs, you know, if you're going to restructure those songs, it's going to take quite a long while. Now, do I think that they're going to delay Snow White? Well, we're going to get into that later and why they do have a 50-50 chance of doing that. And there's a lot of reasons going into why they would even approach that, you know, strategy, but the thing about Bob Iger and the board is that ever since those leaked photos came out and about, they've been very panicky. They've really been questioning themselves every single day. Are we doing something right or wrong here with this decision or that decision? And they're going back and forth. Meanwhile, the only thing that they really need to do, let's be honest, take this film down to the ground, 
make it as if it never existed and then create a new one that is very much, you know, structured to the original 37 flick. Kind of like how Lion King, some, you know, pretty much for the most part, respected the original beat for beat, even though I feel that that movie was a little off with the syncing of the voices to the animals. But I digress. The thing about Zegler's comments that really annoyed a lot of people is what she said. She literally said this on camera, that this movie, Snow White, needs no Prince Charming, needs no true love, and it's all about her becoming a leader. This matches up directly with the leaks that we talked about, where she actually faces the evil queen and fights her head on head and goes against her. And that just goes to show you that they are borrowing elements from, I believe, Snow White and the Huntsman. All right, I think that Disney looked at that and said, oh, all right, let's take that structure and apply it to a strong female character that is fearless, that has no flaws, that has no, you know, obstacles in her way or vulner you know, being vulnerable or anything like that. Basically, that's what they're aiming for and that's what they are embracing. The other part of this that I think is actually quite crucial is that Disney is now on the hunt for a whole new team to rearrange the film by swapping out scenes, mixing the songs differently to those scenes that others were having trouble understanding Disney's demands, as well as along with color correcting the entire film in a new light that the new editors have more experience with. Re-editing this movie is Disney's plan A to fix the film. Meanwhile, plan B is if the strikes actually don't end by November, they are going to embrace reshoots later on in the year, which could spill way into some delays for Snow White. If they do end by November for Disney, they wouldn't have to necessarily do reshoots. But on top of that, this is all last minute and they are quite possibly delaying the film until summer of 2024 if they can't get those reshoots done in time. And of course, on top of that, that was all highly dependent on how long the reshoots last as well, and exactly what they are going to reshoot. Not that they're going to be reshooting the whole film, it's all about specific scenes, and this was all a call by Iger and the board to save this film, because they are very well aware how important this movie is right now. I think that they finally realized that, yeah, I mean, this is where Disney all really started, at least with the movies, right, with the animated movies. and. The fact that we may very well fail, ending it in 2024, we don't want that. And they are doing everything now to fix it in the worst way possible. They don't get a clue on what they need to do. What they have to do is that they most certainly have to just can the whole movie, like I said before, and remake the whole thing. And I think that Jason Acuna, aka Wee Man, you know, really said it in the most polite, way possible that yeah you know you it it's putting you know people like myself out of jobs he says people that are you know uh with dwarfism that want to get these roles can no longer get these roles i mean he even called out wb about the wonka movie about how hugh grant was made into a little person through cgi and that was quite offensive so Anyway, guys, I would love to hear your take on this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.